All right, welcome back. This is the second video in our Dark Souls Prepare to Die Let's Play. Um, we just escaped the Northern Undead Asylum, and now our bonfires have some added benefits of leveling up and kindling. Uh, we're not going to worry about kindling right now because this bonfire is already kindled by this lady down here. I'll show you real quick. This lady right here. And she can't talk to you. But she can reinforce that's just flat. So there are certain people, that I think there's only three that I know of, that can actually reinforce a bonfire. And this is one of them. Uh, so right now we're just going to do some item looting. There's some humanity there. We'll meet a few characters in here and we'll try to get our hands on some weapons that, uh, one of them's kind of a noob weapon, but uh, it's good if you've got a faith wheel or want to actually use a weapon that can be upgraded a little bit better than the Drake sword, which is a little bit later. Okay, let's see. So we can talk to this dude right here. He's very depressing. Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? But there's no celebration here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. Too late now. Well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells. Two bells. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below, in the ruins of the base of Blood Town. Ring them both, and something happened. Brilliant, right? There's not much to go on, but I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land, the undead. <laughs> okay, so he's charming. Um, let's see, let me show you. When you go to leveling up, souls are actually currency and experience for leveling. Um, and every time you level up, it actually takes more souls to level up again. And it doesn't matter what item you level up. Uh, typically, I will upgrade items first, and then upgrade my stats, my regular stats, uh, to use weapons, uh, whatever a weapon needs, there are, there are certain weapons that need a certain amount of endurance to use proficiently. And so that's typically what I will level up next. And after that, uh, I'll level up vitality, vitality and endurance, excuse me, because those are the two most noticeable. Vitality gives you a larger life bar, let me cancel that, and endurance gives you more stamina and it allows you to carry a little bit more. My equipment loads may go up. Both of those are awesome. Uh, higher equip load means I can equip better armor or heavier armor and still be able to roll in the same fashion that I am now to do that quick roll. Nah. All right. So now we're going to steal some more items. Um, if I can remember where all of them are at. Okay, let's see. Let's show you this first. This box right here is the lost and found box. If you should happen to throw away an item that you need to complete the game, it will show up there. Now let's see. Explore there, explore there. We're going to meet this dude right here. He's going to be a jackass at first. Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. I am, I am Petrus of the Brotherhood. As you see, I'm not with us. If not, if not I, prefer I prefer to keep a distance as possible. Okay, very curt. Hello, hello there. I, I realize that I have requested that we retain a distance. But I also want to be polite. That it is, that not, it is not meant in any way. Here, yeah. yeah. take, take this as a token, as a token of peace. No, no. Go, ahead. go ahead. Copper coin. Yay. You can keep talking to him. Oh, I know. How about this? 
I have to, I have to awake my companions here anyway. So what, so what if I were to teach you some miracles? Would that please you? Yes, yes it would. I'm not actually using any of that. A covenant with the gods. And you can join covenants and why not? This actually helps in the beginning. Only their ultimate effectiveness will be determined by your efforts and your faith. So you can purchase items from him. These are all magics, different magics, and this is a talisman. Uh, never buy a talisman from this guy, and I'll show you why. Come again. Come again. The effectiveness of the team. Actually, can oh, I learn oh, I a gesture? Yeah, I can. Learn a gesture from you. Come again. Come again. Thank you. And that's just a bunch of breakable stuff, but there's nothing in there. That's All the way up here for an item. So the lost and dead. I can't remember if there's anything over there or not. not so uh, I think the item I was thinking about is actually. Hmm, that was close. The item that I'm talking about was actually up on top there. There's an item on top there. So we'll just drop back down here and get this item right here. For the soul of the lost and dead. And I generally keep these until I actually want to spend them. There's the uh, crow that took us to, or took us from the northern undead asylum. There's some items down there which we'll get a little bit later. But they're guarded by some fairly tough enemies. Uh, this game is very quick to let you know where you, they don't want you to go. Okay, come on. A little bit of speed. There we go. I'll show you right now. Okay, you can drop down either one of these. And you will end up and there's several treasure chests here. More bones. There's your talisman and a morning star, which I actually can use, but uh, I don't like the attack motion for it. It seems very slow. Cracked red eye orb that allows you to invade other players. I don't know how much I'll be using that either. Uh, you want to pay attention to these treasure chests and the way this chain hangs. A little bit later on, you'll actually face mimics. And that's a good way of identifying a good treasure chest from a mimic. Oh, we got one more right here. Oh, this talisman. Which a lot of people use. Now, you'll see the pile of bones and a couple of swords and a shield down there. That's actually two skeletons that will materialize. Um, but we're going to cheat them. There's a way you can cheat them. I'll show you. If you run up here, right in this hook, right in here, and just hold your guard, and he won't jump. Come on. So we're gonna have to face in the old-fashioned way. Ooh, make you dizzy. His weapon does a small amount of bleed damage. I missed the kick. Oh yeah, and that's generally what will happen if you, if you get in this little crook right here. They'll jump and they'll fall off. Even the larger skeletons will do that. Let's see if we can cheat this guy a little bit better. If you've got pyromancy, you can actually get this 
can actually do a lot more damage against them than... Oh, there we go. That's what we want. And you can do that for most of the skeletons in this area. Which gives you a ton of souls right off the bat. And it gives you access to some items. We'll probably do that a little bit later. As a more important item I want to get first. of things and we're going to reinforce our, our Estus flasks right off the bat. Okay, we'll come through here with that and we'll descend. This is an area that you come to much later in the game. Come down here, get this. All right, these hollow around here are non-aggressive, so you can do whatever you want to right now. stock. I don't think I have the agility to use that yet. Yeah, no, I don't. I need 12 agility. Or dexterity, excuse me. I just don't quite have that. There's a merchant over here that we can talk to. Don't fall off, that would be bad. This is Okay, so he can actually reinforce weapons. Um, I don't have any Titanite shards, and I don't think I can purchase them from him. These two are magics, and that cow is uh, nah. So the only thing he's really good at is repairing equipment at this point. city over there is one of the most aggravating parts of this game. Um, but we're not going to go there yet. We're going to come up here. And because we have our master key, get this right here. Okay. Now, this tunnel here leads to Blight Town. And we are going to take that way towards Black Town because that brings us a lot closer to our objective than the regular quote unquote way. Okay, we're running across here. And this is one of the two kind of newbie friendly weapons in the game right here. Let's see if I can grab these two without pissing this dragon off. That's a dragon. Oh 
shit. <laughs> and that didn't work out so well. But we still got the weapons. Jackass. <clears throat> So, what do we die for? We have a dragon quest. Quest. Wow. Dragon crest shield. Which is better at physical damage reduction and fire damage reduction. A lot worse at magic. Um, better stability, although it does add a little more weight. But we're going to go ahead and equip this. We also got the Astora Straight Sword. It does magic damage in addition to physical damage. Uh, right now we cannot wield it effectively. I don't have the dexterity or the faith. Now the faith, spending that much money in faith, frankly hurts. Um, but I probably will go ahead and do it because I use that sword until I start using some of the ball swords. Ball souls, excuse me. To forge weapons. Now, this will be down. You'll have to pull it back up. Um, yes, you will fall to your death <laughs> if, you, if you don't pull this back up. Yes, I have done that before. That clicks up. Drop that down. So we're gonna go back and collect our souls from our body or our corpse. Come down here. Yeah, yeah. Be on the screen long until we get to this. This dragon's very aggravating. He's, as you can see, he hits really hard when he swings at you. There's my souls. Oh, really? What kind of shit is that? Ah, uh, okay. We're gonna use these fireballs. Well, first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run a clip. stuff because we don't want to accidentally use that that stuff we don't want to waste on this deal but as you can see if you stand right here he will do this attack which doesn't do a whole lot of damage but it does build up poison so what we're going to do is hit him with first and now the annoying part about this guy is that every once in a while uh, they won't give you the damage from in this dude And I may skip ahead on some of this to the very end because this is aggravating watching me just do this over and over again.
couple more now. So I skipped some of that because that's just damn boring to do. But I'll get 3,000 souls, I'll get my souls back, and I'll get this Soul of the Proud Knight. So I've got a boatload of souls right now. Uh, now those blue dragons off in the distance, I am not going to screw with them. They will kill me and then I won't get my souls back. So what did we get? We got. Uh, we got this. We got Dragon Scale, which actually will uh, reinforce the Drake Sword, which is the other new weapon that I was talking about. Um, let's see. Let's get back to Firelink Shrine. Spend some of these souls, and we'll go on another suicide mission. Alright, so what do we need to use this sword? We need oh, 14 faith and 10 dex. So 10 dex. And, ooh, I'm way short. This is the least that we can do. That's too much. Okay, so we got enough to use our sword now. And we're not going to waste any more souls or any more items because we're just going to go on a suicide mission. So let's equip this. Alright, so this is pretty much the build I'll use for the first part of the game. Uh, I'm going to put a little cut in the video right now, and then when we come back, we'll be screwing around a little bit more at Firelink Shrine, and I think that's probably all we'll have time to do in the next video. Alright, until then, see you.